Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over the concatenate function in Excel. Um, I was just working with Excel recently and needed to use this, so it came in handy. Thought I'd share it with you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up a little mock worksheet here. So let's say you've got some data on some people here, and I'm going to talk about name data. So I'm going to have a last name, first name, and a middle initial. And let me just give myself a little extra room here. And let's put in a couple fake names. How about uh, Jones Smith Walker and Thompson? Sarah Steve and Luca and Lauren. Okay. Now, so we've got some last names and first names, but I also want to put in some potential middle initials. So, not everyone's going to have a middle initial, though. We'll do an A there and a B there. So, not everybody has a middle initial. And let me just go ahead and format those. And off in this other cell, I'm going to put in the full name. So here's the situation. I've got some data. I've got the uh, I've got the people's last names, first names, and their middle initial if they have one. And I'd like to concatenate these or join them all together to make a full name that can be printed out. You know, you can do a mail merge into an award certificate or something like that. So let's take care of that. There's a couple ways you can use concatenate. Let me show you this. So I'm just going to do equals, and there's a concatenate function. So if I start to spell it out, concatenate, and there we can see it joins several text strings into one text string. Makes sense. I'll press my tab key, and it goes ahead and sets me up. So the concatenate function can have as many arguments or parameters as necessary. You just separate them by a comma. Very easy. So I can say, well, I want their first name, comma, middle initial, comma, last name closing parentheses. I want to join these all together. When I press my enter key, that name is all joined together. Now I have one text string, Sarah A. Jones. But I also want to get some spaces in there, so in addition to concatenating the values or the, the, the data in a cell, I can also join in a space. So now I'm concatenating the first name, a space, and closed in quotes, the middle initial, comma, another space than the last name. There we go. Takes care of that. And if I want a decimal after the initial, then I can easily put in, at, right after the middle initial is concatenated, I can put in period space. So now I've got that. The downside is, is not everybody has a middle initial. So if I autofill this down, we obviously get some weird behaviors for those folks that don't have a middle initial. So I'd like to combine a concatenate function with an if function that will determine if the person has a middle initial or not. Okay, so let's check this out. I'm going to go ahead and delete what I've got here. And I'm going to be using the count a function. And the count a function will determine if a cell is blank or not blank. Okay, so let's do a real quick rundown on this. Okay, uh, so I've done an equal function or an if function before in other videos, but here's the here's the basics for it. If there's something we're testing for, what happens if it's true? What happens if it's false? Okay, so what I want to test for is does this person have a middle initial or not? Either they do or they don't. If they do, then I want to concatenate with the middle initial. If they don't, then I just want to concatenate the first and the last names. Um, let's try this one out. What if I do count a parentheses so I want to just want to count the middle initial there we go and if I count the cell where the middle initial is I'm either going to get a 1 or a 0 that's useful information okay so if we use a count a function on a cell where the middle initial is supposed to be we're going to get a 1 if they've got a middle initial a 0 otherwise so let's combine this into an if function now equals if parentheses, okay, if the count A of the cell possibly containing the middle initial, okay, we know it's a 1 or, or a 0. If it's equal to 1, then they must have a middle initial. And if it's equal to 1, then value if true, then I'm going to concatenate. And I'm going to concatenate their first name, comma, a space, comma, middle initial, comma, 
quotation, period, space, quotation, comma, last name, closing parentheses. Now you notice I'm in my if statement here. My logical test is looking at the count A of the cell containing the middle initial. If that's equal to 1, then I go to my value of true. I can cat concatenate first name, space, middle, in middle initial, period, space, last name. Now right after this, I'm going to put a comma, and this takes me over to the value if false for the, uh, if, the if function. Okay, So I want to do another concatenate. But this is if they don't have a middle, middle initial. So I will concatenate, and I know it's going off my screen, so let me scroll a little bit here to the right. I will concatenate their first name, which I know is in cell B2, comma, space, comma, and then their last name, which I know is in A2, closing parentheses. Now I have to do one more closing parentheses to close off my if function. There we go. So there's my function. Let me go ahead and press enter. And I can see there's Sarah A. Jones. And if I autofill this down, excellent. So for those folks that have a middle initial, they get the middle initial and period included. For those that don't, it's just a standard space. There's our function. If the count A is equal to 1, then give me a concatenation of first name, space, middle initial, space, last name. Otherwise, give me a concatenate of simply the first name, space, last name.